Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Byung Ho Choi. Welcome to my live surgery. I'm so grateful that uh, so many people watching this live surgery. Uh, there are about uh, 200 uh, Korean audience in the conference room watching this live surgery. And there are also many people from more than 20 countries watching this live surgery. I hope that they would enjoy watching my live surgery. Let me show you the patient. You can see here, uh, the patient x-ray is uh, 63 years old. You can see the missing teeth in the upper right molar area. I'm going to place two implants in the area. You can see here the thickened mucosa in the sinus cavity. I'm going to lift the sinus membrane even though it is thickened. After lifting the sinus membrane, I'm going to put sinus graft material in the cavity. The procedures that I'm going to today are sinus graft, immediate placement of two implants, and immediate restoration. For the sinus graft, In the, I use uh, this uh, flapless crystal sinus approach. In the approach, I will use a small hole, three millimeter diameter hole. Through the hole, I'm going to place an implant and the graft material as well. The drilling depth was already determined using the Combium CT scan image. I'm going to uh, drill just uh, below the sinus floor. And then I'm going to use this uh, low speed drilling without irrigation. The speed is about uh, 50 RPM. To lift the sinus membrane, I will use saline injection. I inject the saline into the hole to lift the sinus membrane. You can see here the membrane will be lifted. To test the membrane integrity, I'm going to use aspiration technique. If you can pull out the liquid that you injected, it suggests that the membrane remains intact. This is uh, the graft material that I will use in the sinus cavity. The sponge, collagen sponge, bios collagen sponge, will be placed into the sinus cavity. And then implants will be placed. Let me show you how they heal after grafting the procedure. This is the before the procedure, before surgery. You can see here, very thin bone below the sinus floor. It's about one millimeter bone thickness. This is immediately after the procedure. You can see here the space between the collagen sponges six months after procedure. You can see the increased radio opacity in the graft site. Another case, another patient, you can see the septum in the sinus cavity. It's very challenging case to lift the sinus membrane safely using lateral approach. I used this approach crystal flatness approach. 
This is immediate after procedure. You can see the sponge between space between the graft site, graft material. And the six months after procedure, you can see here the increased radio pasty in the graft site. Immediately, six months after procedure. This is immediately, six months after procedure. That shows that the collagen sponge can keep the elevated side of the membrane in maintenance and then can play a role to make uh, uh, bone tissue in the sinus cavity. For the immediate implant placement and the immediate restoration, I took two uh, digital images. The first one is the scan, or a scan image that was taken by uh, Trios. And then the other digital image is the Combim City scan image. Both images were merged. On the merged image, I did implant planning on the digital image. And then I designed abutments. I designed crowns. I designed the surgical guide. You can see here the surgical guide, the crowns, and abutments. They are ready. They are prepared in advance before surgery. What I am going to do today is to make teas in the area in 30 minutes. Now I'm ready. I'm, going, I'm moving to the OP field. And then I will start the procedure. So the surgical guide is inserted and the, the surgical guide is very secure in position. And then I will drill, I will start drilling. The first drill is a tish punch. I will use this tish punch to punch out the a core of mucosa. And just to drill until the tissue punch touched the bone. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, this I drill. A tissue punch in the second molar area. Can you see it? Okay. And then I will use this uh, bone flattening drill to flatten the ridge. Okay, jab jab jab. And I will drill uh, through the surgical guide to flatten the ridge. And uh, then in the second molar area as well. Then I finish the flattening the ridge. And then this is the uh, uh, tube, guide tube. I replace this one into the surgical guide. This is 2.0 drill. This is initial drill, it has stopped. And then I will drill. And then this is the I will drill until the stopper touched the, the, the tube. And then Okay. And then second, from the soil. Okay. And 
and then I will drill in the second mold area. Okay, you got okay. Again, two point seven drill. 좀더 크게 할수 있겠습니까? 더 크게 더 크게 되겠습니까? 더 크게. Okay, he has a yeah, very limited mouse opening. In this case, I insert the drill into the guide and then reinsert the drill. Okay. Simple. Okay, and then insert the drill tube. Okay, I drilled using two point zero drills. And uh, in between, I irrigate into those certain sites with saline. And then, this is a uh, 2.6. Okay, both the same. 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 Okay, 18이죠. 네. Minus 1. 오케이. 네. Okay. I drill first in the second mole area. 크게 벌려 보시겠습니까? 각도. This is 2.2.7 drill. 오케이. I drill it without irrigation. Okay. 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 Okay, I finished drilling in the second mold area using 2.7 drill. And then, Apeco. 2.7 drill I will use in the first mold area. This is Okay. There go. Okay, I finished the drilling 2.7 drill below the sinus floor. And then, final drill. This is the final drill. Then, Echo. 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 2.3.8 real this is the this is the this also the final drill 3.8 drill I drill in the first mole area until the stopper touches the sleeve okay and irrigation okay Seven seventy-two millimeters. Seven seventy-two. Six point seven. Seven point seven. Okay. This is a sinus drill. I will drill 
a little bit deeper, one millimeter deeper into the sinus cavity. Okay, I drill into the, the, the stopper touches the tube. Then this is also the sinus drill. I will drill into the sinus cavity one millimeter deeper before the the length, the depth of the uh, final drill. Then I will take out the surgical guide, I will remove the surgical guide, and then you can see here the opening site into the sinus cavity. This is the uh, injection syringe in the nozzle. I will use this one. I inserted nozzle into the sinus, uh, uh, into the hole. Is here uh, okay. Yeah, this is here. Okay, I inserted nozzle into the second molar area and then my assistant injected the saline slowly. Okay, now 0.3 millimeter. Okay, he injected 0.6 millimeter and then he pull out the liquid again and you can see here the, f the, the blood okay. okay he pull out the whole fluid he injected and then I will use this nozzle in the first molar area okay so he start injection okay he injected 0 0.2 5 millimeter. Okay, he sucked. He will suck. He Minus sucked the fluid from the sinus cavity. He full out the whole liquid uh, from the sinus cavity. You can see here the uh, saline is mixed with the flu with the blood. And then I finished lifting the sinus membrane. And then I will use this surgical guide again. I, put, I, I insert this surgical guide again in the mouth. And then I will drill so in drill again to widen the opening site in the sinus floor. So you can see it. See it one millimeter deeper, okay? The surgical guide should be in secure in position. Yes. And then in the first molar as well, you can see here the insert into the sinus cavity. Okay. That's it. And then I remove the surgical guide again. Then I will check the, I will confirm, I confirm whether the opening site in the sinus floor is clear. Okay, it's clear. And then the second site is one millimeter deeper to go into the, and then ready. This one is, uh, this one is, uh, the collagen sponge, the collagen sponge is cut into small pieces, and I place this one in the sinus cavity. In the sec in the in the second molar area, 
I face this one. You can turn this too. Okay, next one. You must uh, use the stopper to protect the sinus membrane. Okay. Okay. I insert the sponge. Okay, and then after inserting the half of the material, I use this uh, curette to uh, to uh, to uh, distribute to spread the sponge in the sinus cavity. So I try to spread uh, the collagen sponge evenly in the sinus cavity. Okay, and then come another part. Okay. Okay, another one. Okay, the half of the collagen sponge will also insert into the sinus cavity. Come. Okay, this is a very simple procedure to insert the uh, material into the sinus cavity using this bone plugger. Okay, I finished uh, uh, inserting the material into the sinus cavity in the second mole area and then I will start in the first mole area. Come. Okay. Now, sir, come. Okay. I will. Okay. The procedure is the same as in the second molar area. Mm -hmm. The sponge is uh, very soft, it's easy to insert. Okay. And uh, okay. you have to uh, use this uh, stuffer uh, to control the depth control, to control the depth so using this instrument. And then after inserting the half of the uh, material, I uh, spread the material in the sinus cavity using the sinus curette. It's uh, just uh, uh, moving in the hole. Okay, come the other part. Okay. Okay, now I insert push the graft material into the sinus cavity. The, the, the other half of the graft material. The volume of the graft material is about uh, uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, 5 milliliters. Okay, come. Okay. 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 This uh, zero point five milliliter of collagen sponge were inserted uh, in both sides, and then I will 
spread I spread the material in the sinus cavity in the second bowl area again okay and then it suction align and then this one I place this surgical guide in the mouse again and then this is the the last drill I used the final drill I drill the final drill again how about the click value the CS maker okay cut okay fully exhausted and uh the clear body yes okay in the second bowl area is a fully drilled okay and then implant good touch it's now uh implant is a five point zero diameter of the implant from the clear switch system from the clear Because of the limited mouse opening, it's I uh, have to use this one. Okay, hit mouse corner. Okay. Vertical height, I control the vertical height of the implants. Okay. If I give a third use, it's me the something nice, sure. Crown remove. Okay. This. I removed the connector and the second implant. Okay. I place the second implant. You can see the the stability of the implants. I can feel the stability of the implant already. Now I control the depth of the implant. Eventually, jump for the case. Okay, check it out. Okay, if I take you to reduce this middle, I remove the connector and then suction. Crown, crown, cover crown. I'll do take a yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, now you can see the bottom of the crown. I place this one. Okay. That's a tactile. 
first. Emily? Okay. Next up. Irrigation. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. This is I'm finished. The procedure is uh, finished. You can see the result. Oh, you, oh, <laughs> you can see uh, the final result of the procedure. It's okay. You can see. And then, uh, 한번 다물어 보시죠. 다물어 보십시오. Okay. And then. You can see uh, the Kangmuro Wishpsio. Yes, okay. This is uh, the final result. You can see here the excellent. Kangmuro Wishpsio. And how many? Chauro, Umjigo, Ah, no, Shibo Wishpsio. Chauro, Kara Wishpsio. Chauro, Kara Wishpsio. Chauro. Okay. He is uh, chewing. Uh, he is uh, uh, chewing rapidly. Okay, Josmida. And uh, okay. This, uh, this is the final result. You can see no bleeding. There are no sutures. This uh, yeah. Okay. This is the. You can see the perfect occlusion of the immediate restoration. Okay. Now it's. Uh, now uh, my patient uh, is going to take uh, the final radiograph. Okay. Yes, yeah, uh, I'm asking the patient how uh, how many days is it? Yes, yes. How feels after the procedure? How does he feel the procedure after the procedure? What does he feel after the procedure? Yes, very good. 뭐 아프거나 예, 없었습니까? 없었습니다. 예, 뭐 하다가 불편한 건 없었습니까? 없었습니다. 입 벌리는 건 어땠습니까? 조금 입이 좀 힘들었습니다. <웃음> 예, 그렇습니까? 예. 그면은 뭐 예, 예. 전혀 불편하고. 예. Yes, he said that uh, he had no discomfort except uh, opening his mouth. He has uh, uh, no pain during the procedure, and he doesn't have any pain now. He says. Uh, I'm very comfortable, and uh, he says, mm, convenient, comfortable. That's the uh, procedure uh, that is uh, flatness uh, crystal sinus approach. Thank you. Uh, now he is going to take uh, the final radiograph. Uh, while he's taking the final radiograph, I will have a uh, question and answer session. If the final radiograph arrives me, I will show you the results of the procedure. Okay. okay, this is the final radiograph arrived. Uh, this you can see the, the x-ray. Uh, the CTV of uh, the patient uh, after the procedure. You can see here the implants and the, the graft material. This one and this one. You can see here the, the closet sponge placed above the, above the implants. 
And then next uh, uh, city. Can I? Next is CTV. This one? Okay, this is the another implants of the, uh, the, the, the X-ray of the another implants. You can see also the graft material uh, about the implants. Uh, I think the, the quality of this COVID is not uh, Satisfying, but you can see the overall view of the graft material in the sinus cavity. Okay, let me finish the, this uh, live surgery. Uh, I would like to thank you so much here for people watching this uh, live surgery, spending the time in me. Uh, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed watching my live surgery. Thank you very much.